Hi guys, today we will talk about some command of UI vision. In the last video, we are discussing about command which was which was CSV reader. So in this tutorial, we will talk about CSV save. Actually, firstly we will store a variable for a new line in CSV. Uh, here you can see that it's a value and it's a variable it's an internal variable so in case of internal variable uh, it's necessary to put a exclamatory mark on a beginning so uh, and the next line we will put here csv csv save and here we will give here only one parameter which is a name of csv here we will check here uh, test read test data csv so in case of this firstly we will clear this and save this csv and again we will try to save this you can see that it's properly run and uh, we will see its csv actually here is a csv so you can see that its data appear in a csv so and next command and next command is csv array in case of csv array actually it's a save array of csv array of javascript in uh, csv like here is first you will show firstly i will show what what is the two dimension array to the array structure we can see that it's a two day it's a <laughs> it's a two dimension array so in case of 0 0 it's a index of firstly index of row and second is a number of uh, index of column so in case of next is one and column is same so in a uh, third row it's a uh, two and a uh, row a column is the same so in case of other column only increase a column index okay first is a index of row and second is a index of column so in this case we will discuss here firstly make a, an array like here we will execute execute a script sandbox variable a is equal to array save array and in case of array here we will put uh, name here we will put a name of array and here we will put name of csv firstly we will clear a data of csv so now we will run it name class section so return it actually previous method was uh, complicated so when so we will test it uh, you can see that it's properly run and appear in a CSV it's properly append here and uh, in a previous uh, and next is delete all cookies actually it's uh, used to delete all cookies here it's no parameter is required just it's uh, command and run it so you can run it and it will delete all cookies so do Actually, it's uh, used with the other command like here do, and after of it, we will enter here repeat if, uh, and we will use it repeat if like like uh, I uh, I want to do something while condition is not satisfied, so I will enter here condition. So firstly, like uh, assert, assert, assert value. So while its assert value is not I am okay, and while it's not satisfied, so it will not stop. But in case of its, uh, we will require, we will require uh, ignore ignorance of error. CS last command okay 
and in case of this uh, i will require uh, ignore of ignorance of error so ignore for ignore any type of error here we will put true okay and we will run it actually it's not required so i commented comment out it so actually a uh, mechanism of it that uh, it will go here and check assert a and uh, assert will rise an error if it's not satisfy this condition if its value of this uh, text box is not is equal to uh, i am so it will rise an error if it's it will rise an error so this condition will check uh, this variable will check uh, last command is properly run or not if it's not properly run then it will it will repeat if it's not properly run okay actually yes uh, actually here we will need to put uh, exclamatory mark for not okay because when it's uh, go there uh, and it will generate a false and when it will false uh, in case of false it will not repeat if condition because if condition is only working in case of true so we will uh, reverse this condition by exclamatory marks so we will run it you can see that it's a uh, yellow color and not properly run it's again and again go there and here we will check how its condition satisfy actually here is put i am so you can see that it's automatically stop actually it's used for verification of any method so next command next command is uh, next command after do actually we are here drag and drop drag and drop in case of uh, on a same page drag and drop so we will use it actually i will show you here is a page and uh, i want to put here i will comment out it actually it's because it's not required so here we will put drag and here first is a target after select uh, before selecting the target we will select the place where we will drop it and actually it will give a locator so we will cut it from here and paste in a value and select our original target so it's a my original target so in case of it's actually it's a drag this element to this place so we will run it just uh, this line so we can see that it's properly go in this box so in case of other we will select other like here uh, three so in case of three uh, we can see that it's go in this box actually it's a work as a draw drag and drop method so our next command echo and echo actually is a require only first parameter actually which uh, we want to show in a log section uh, firstly i will clear it to properly understanding so here uh, like uh, i want to show that some queries are uh, something which is uh, related about a verification or uh, anyone say to uh, say uh, say for something appear in a log so like here true and uh, i want to show in a log we can see that a uh, true in a log section but in case of uh, uh, in case of this uh, if we see that uh, these are same color and how we can differentiate so in case of it so we will put in a second parameter actually it's a second parameter is not required it's a totally optional so in case of optional parameter we will put here like uh, red blue it's a name of color like here i will put a uh, blue and in case of blue we can see that it's appear in a blue color so it's a uh, appear in a blue color so uh, it's 
totally different from other so we can differentiate by this method and next command next command is edit content actually it's also it's also uh, it's also describes in a previous video but i will show again how it's work like uh, like here uh, first i will appear it such like here uh, i want to firstly i will appear here a div which content editable is true it's very tricky command but uh, it's required in case of some time uh, some website are not allowed to input by type and uh, uh, type and send key so in in this situation we will use it so you can see that actually it's uh, it's a editable section so in case of it in case of it we will use it uh, edit content and uh, select this section and uh, in case of select this section here i will put a value which i want to edit and put here like here nice command it's very useful command because it's used in many cases so you, you can see that it's edit content and else and if time to understand to how to properly work in the conditions like here I want to check here that actually I want to check here store store x bar count actually and uh, this command only check that uh, how many element present on a current page against this locator so we will store in a variable uh, in case of uh, uh, in our case it will be uh, one then if it will be one and we can understand that it's greater than greater than zero so we will put here a condition in case of uh, using a variable in uh, our macro section after def define it so we will use here uh, a dollar sign and curly braces and uh, here we will use uh, if it's uh, greater than zero then what will what it will do so after it's it will do drag and drop drag and drop so drag and drop firstly we will select where we want to drag here we want to drag and export cut it and put in a value and here we will select a real target actually our target is same so we will not select here if this target is appear then it will run in other case it will not run so we will put here and uh, here we will put end command in each condition we will put essentially end command because it's used in the end of the condition so if this element is appear then it will store it's a number of element against this locator in this variable and uh, this condition will check if condi uh, if this variable is greater than zero then it will run this command and uh, we will test it actually here we will need to put x path so we will put here x path of it x path so a and its text is text is is equal to 4 and by its we can check that it's right or not so we can see that and in case of its so now we will run it we can see that it's run but uh, when we will check in the next time we can see that it's not not run in a second time in case of second time it's not run and if we run again it's not run if we refresh a page then it will appear again this element and when it will run and it's properly run by this so it's properly work 
and we can put here a second condition with the same just here we will put else if else if and here we will put a second condition and like here if it's not in it so we will check here a second condition and then here is end command in case of if else if actually it will go from here it will check a condition if this condition is satisfied then run this section below the section and not run this section and if it's not uh, satisfy this con condition it will check a second condition if it's properly satisfied and then it will go on this section and run this section here like a store variable and so on we can see that it's section so it's run, run this section so in other case here will save and and we can also see we can also understand how it's work run and add and last command is execute script and execute script and sandbox so we will put here execute script actually uh, these are same command but if we choose this command execute script we can interact with the page and uh, we can affect uh, any element of uh, current page by this command but in case of execute script sandbox we cannot interact with the element and uh, and here in case of it actually when i put this condition we can see that it's a scroll down and here is the same condition and i will put here and when i will run it we can see that it's scroll down so we can interact with the page with the execute circuit but in other case we uh, if i use this condition it's not work it will it will raise an error because it's not a uh, proper command for this because it's uh, run uh, run only like only javascript like a variable and put and some calculation and return it and save so in case of interact with the page so we will choose execute script and uh, if we would not uh, interact with the page then we will choose uh, execute script sandbox